What's up guys, The Hacks by here, and today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys another set of top 10 amazing tweaks for your jailbroken device on iOS 12. All right, now before we go ahead and get started, I've got some exciting news for you guys. So Poet to Own did tweet out this just today. He said the Uncovered version 3.0.0 beta 40 is now out for public testing with support for all pre-A12 devices on iOS 12 with Cydia and Cydia Substrate working. So what does that mean? Well, all A7 and A8 devices are now supported by the Uncover iOS 12 jailbreak. So, if you do have the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 6 or 6 Plus, the iPad Air 1, the iPad Mini 4, 3, or 2, or the iPod Touch 6th generation, you can now jailbreak those devices on iOS 12 through iOS 12.1.2. So, if you are on those devices, the wait is over. It is the exact same steps to jailbreak. So, if you do want to jailbreak those devices, the link to my full guide and tutorial on how to jailbreak iOS 12 through 12.1.2 will be down below in the description. Go ahead and click on it and jailbreak your device. Now, what about the iPhone 10s? This is not the iPhone 10s, but support for the iPhone 10s is coming real soon. So guys, just be patient and a new version of Uncover will be pushed out to support the A12 devices, which of course includes the iPhone 10s. Now again, if you have any of these devices, you can now jailbreak those. And over here on Tweakbox, you can see that they did update it. So this is the newest version, 3.0. 3.0.0 B30. Okay, it's B40. Hold on. Okay, so if I'm going to tap on it, then it says B40. Okay, so that's the new up-to-date version. You can follow my tutorial. Links in the description. Also, if you see some of these tweaks that I did not mention in this video, chances are I did go over them in my past video on my last Joe Break Tweaks update top list. That sentence came out weird. But yeah, if you want to know some of these tweaks, again, go check that video so you're not already asking about tweaks already reviewed. All right, now this first tweak is called a jumper. So you can see at the bottom of my screen, I now have two different icons. So if I'm going to force touch on these, it'll We'll open up that app. So I have the app music one and on the right side, I have Snapchat. So if I go to force touch on this, it opens up Snapchat. So this is pretty cool. You can put any apps at the bottom right there. So you can have quick and easy access. So if you don't like the regular camera app, I barely use it. Again, you can put any app there, even like Fortnite. This tweak is called jumper. The second tweak is called let me know. So basically when you call someone and it connects, your phone does vibrate to let you know that the call has connected. And also when the call disconnects, it lets you know by a vibration as well. So you don't have to sit there talking to yourself when the call has connected or disconnected. It vibrates so you know that the call has been connected or disconnected. I personally like to set my vibration to heavy impact. And yeah, again, this tweak is called Let Me Know. The third tweak is called Mitsua XL. And what this tweak does is put an audio visualizer inside your Apple Music app or Spotify. It works on a bunch of different music apps, but I'm gonna go to play some copyright free music, show you guys how it works. So here we go. Looks pretty dope. So again, this tweak is called Mitsua XL. The fourth tweak is called Better Settings. And what this tweak allows you to do is change up your settings to make it look a lot cooler. So you guys can see I have Noctis running as well as this custom background. So it looks pretty cool. Especially go to the top. It has a blue background and I put that image myself. You can put any picture that you want and just do so much more to customize how your settings look. Again, this tweak is called Better Settings. This fifth tweak is another must-have tweak called CC Modules. So once I have this tweak installed, you can head over to Settings, Control Settings, Center, customize controls, and here now you have a bunch of other options. You can put Cydia up there, Respring, Reboot, Enter Safe Mode, and so many other options that this adds. So I got a Noctis toggle and so many more. So you can see I could go to tap right there and it opens up Cydia. And I have so many more. I could tap on this button to go and respring my device straight through Control Center. Again, this tweak is called CC Modules. Another must have tweak. The sixth tweak is called Reform X. Now you guys can see I have a custom icon layout. I have five icons over there and also five icons in my dock and my dock is transparent too. I like this look a lot better and there's so much more that I can do. So once you have this, you can open up the Reform X application. You can mess around with their dock, the icon size, the transparency of the dock on the background folders. You can change everything. You can change the home screen again, the app sizes and how many apps you want in the rows and columns and so much more. This is a really great app for customizing your home screen and it can just make your home screen the way you want it to be. Again, this tweak is called 
Reform X. The seventh tweak is called Semperon, and what it does is bring the always on display to iOS. So it can always have a clock showing up right there, and it's pretty cool. If you have the iPhone 10 or 10s, these have an OLED display, so you don't really use any battery life as it's all black, unless of course you have Snowverly installed. But yeah, an always on display on iOS, pretty cool. Again, this tweak is called Semperon. This eighth tweak is called Flame, and oh my gosh, where do I start? So here it is in Cydia, and I can't show you guys all the features alone, but take a look at this. So you can export a list of your ins installed tweaks. You can make the Cydia refresh time shorter so it loads a lot quicker. You can have a batch add so you can add multiple sources at a time. So the way that works is basically you copy a list of repos, and once we go to sources at the bottom, you can tap on edit over here, add over there, and there's a batch mode. So once you tap on that button, it'll basically add all the sources that you copied and just add them. So you can add sources in bulk really quick and easy. You guys can see my Cydia also looks different. You can change the UI colors of Cydia. I now have blue icons and a yellow nav bar or tab bar thing at the bottom. It brings a pull to refresh. It can just pull down to refresh Cydia. And also when you go to install a tweak, once it's done, it could automatically respring if you enable that toggle. So you don't have to manually hit respring. It just automatically hits that button for you. So you can just look away. Again, this one is called flame. This ninth tweak is called record music. So usually in iOS, when you start recording on your device, using a screen recording. If you want to play music in the background, it does not like to do that. It pauses the music so you cannot record and play your music at the same time. But with record music, you can't. So let's go back to no copyright sounds. I'm gonna play a song and I'm going to record my screen. So let's go over here, record our screen. Three, two, one. And now we are recording. You guys can see my music is still playing and it's recording at the top right there. So pretty cool tweak. Again, this tweak is called record music. And if you want to have music in your background, you can use this tweak. And the 10th tweak is called battery percent X. So you guys can see on my iPhone 10 over here, instead of the battery icon, it shows a percent, which is so much more useful. I hate swiping down to see the battery percent. It's always right there in the corner and I love it. Also, you can put your device in low power mode simply by double tapping right there. And you guys can see now it's in low power mode. And what the heck, I'll show you guys a bonus tweak. So this one is called tap time. So you guys see my time is right there. Once we're going to tap on it, it then shows the date. So all I got to do is tap on it. And there you go. It shows the date. So no matter where you are on your device, you don't have to go to your home screen. Again, battery percent X and tap time. All right. So there you guys have another set of amazing tweaks for your iOS 12 device. Oh, and by the way, if there are any repos that need to be added to install some of these tweaks, the repos will be down below in the description. And if you haven't already, check out my previous top tweaks video. Thank you for watching. This is the Hackspot. Peace out.